Good morning, friends and fellow farmers. 53,000 last night, and I believe we passed out on our doorstep. So we'll lose a thousand bucks. We get our, our angry letter. Hey, kiddo. It's like, Papa, why are you always passing out on the doorstep? Oh, because your dad is just kind of like incompetent. Bread. Bread making can be a very complex form of art, but I'll make it simple for you. The most important ingredient is flour, of course, but before we create the dough, we'll need to activate our yeast. They perform warm water, a little something to feed on. I use plain sugar, but honey or maple, maple syrup will do. You already know how to cook bread. <laughs> I, you know, I, I think when I played through earlier, I took his uh, r little uh, flavor text for granted i didn't i didn't read them very carefully it was more like yeah we can do the thing and you kind of rush through but he wrote some really good flavor text in this game i really i do quite like it so as we get they come up i i'll have to spend more time trying to read them just like on some of the uh some of the gems and stuff or some of the stones oh come on That's interesting. I think we can get the get it from up here. If we if we go down, yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, and I left a space, of course. Wasn't liking us trying that on the angle. Okay, we're good. We're good. We'll come back and see those in another fifty-eight years. So we've got eleven bottles. So that's another whatever seventy thousand dollars. I got up early and watered some crops for you. I hope it makes your job a little easier today. I also filled Hodge's water bowl. Oh, thank you, Penny. Hi, honey. If I knew more about farm work, I'd help you out more. Sorry. I'll be thinking of you. Aw. You're the sweetest. Yeah, 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 Joja. Joja blah blah blah. Joja blah blah blah. That's my life. Dear Mr. Jojo blah blah blah. Okay. Oh, I got another letter. Dear James, tonight around 10 o'clock, a rare and beautiful event will take place. The Moonlight Jellies will be passing by Pelican Town on their long journey south for the winter. We're all gathering at the beach to watch. You don't want to miss this. See you tonight, Demetrius. You know what, Demetrius? I do want to see that tonight, because I love the Moonlight Jellies one of my favorite parts of the game. I think it's just a really delightful little scene. Cool uh, little community builder. It's just well done. I I think they did a, he did a great job of it. Okay, I see some worms and I also see that we should be harvesting everything today. Where's my hoe? There we go. Are going crazy. So we're gonna get ourselves some star fruit. That's what we're gonna do here. I see some more worms. I'm gonna make a pit stop. Seeds. Well. Well. That was not worth me taking a few seconds out of my busy harvest for. He removed the straw from his mouth, spit at the ground, disgusted. Mixed seeds, he uttered under his breath. That'll be, uh, that's the opening to my Sturdy Valley fanfiction. <laughs> I, you know, I imagine it must be a thing. I, there must be somebody who writes Sturdy Valley fanfiction. It's gotta be. Never thought of that until now. I think there's such colorful characters that, we, of course, it would lend itself. Right about... Marnie and the mayor's torrid but secretive love affair. Robin and Demetrius's life and how they ended up together. How Robin got into woodworking. There's, yeah, there's so many stories in this town. It 
And my brain just drifted off right there. You know what I was thinking would be cool to do? Would be to do a, a Stardew Valley podcast that is about reading things like Stardew Valley fan fiction. And as treating it the, uh, the Stardew Valley, the Pelican Town people as, you know, a real community at, at, at things. I, I do, I love everything about this game. There's not many games where I feel I, I have such a, a, a fondness of the NPCs. And I, considering how much I dislike the NPCs in this game when I, I started playing it, again, I think that being intentional, that being a part of the deal, brilliantly done and it, but it's interesting now you know you i'm sure all of you uh that play it have a a interesting kinship with certain characters and some of the plot lines resonated with your own lives how many games do that Butterfly is just chasing me. It's like, guys, let's get him. He cut our tree down. There's a farm. He's giving a very like profound motivational speech to the troops. A four this time, my fellow butterflies. There was a tree that stood right here. I was told by my father and my father's father and my mother's mother. There's many trees here. Till this sombrero wearing farmer came. Actually, they wouldn't even know. They don't know what a sombrero is, so they'd be like the, the straw man, they'd probably call me. And we're not even going to be able to harvest these these ones here. I, I think the Junimo or the, uh, the butterflies would tell a tale, though, of what it was like back when they were able to, uh, you know, life was, life was better and, and different, and they were respected. And now. It's just about being exploited by the man. The, the poor butterflies. Like all we do is we pollinate, we pollinate, we pollinate. Are we respected? Are we paid properly for our work? We are not. I feel like that's what the butterflies would be. They, they would also, with, along with the Junimos. See, Junimos are thinking of forming a specific Junimo-related union. And the butterflies are like, well, can we just make this like a, like a G general employees uni union? Can it, like a GU? Like... Because I, I think we all are feeling the crunch. Now, again, I, I don't know. I don't remember. I didn't. I don't look it up. I don't remember nothing. I don't remember nothing. Watch, chicken. Oh, a train's passing through. You know what? I feel like we should go see it. We never go see trains. Hey, Timothy. Get your pants on. We gotta go uh, check out a train here. Yeah, but you, you didn't know that. Timothy, uh, underneath, Timothy's wearing pants right now. Underneath, Timothy was not wearing pants. Oh, Penny's like, oh, he's off to see. Gosh, could you stop train spotting, honey? We've got work to do. Never. Not when there's trains. We can maybe plant the rest of those seeds on the way back. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, look at that bear. Hey, bear. Is the train gonna leave anything good? Oh, look at these butterflies. Oh, <laughs> Pooh Bear. <laughs> that is really silly. I wanna get on the train. Wait for me. Take me with you. Was there anything? Let's go check it out. That one, that one didn't spit anything out. Maybe I didn't catch it early enough. Maybe it's this trail of butterflies. That's all I got. Huh. Well. Well, well, well. Hmm. Now, I wonder, can I also plant uh, trees up here that I could have with tappers? Yeah, this whole area is horrible. 
That's interesting. Uh, where's my... There we go. Okay, let's throw some more down. Huh. No, nope. uh, you. I, I will get rid of that spot because I'm going to uh, auto hoe. So we'll go there and then. No. I'm totally going to obstruct the uh, railway line. Might look kind of cool, though. Okay. Uh, where's my... Choo-choo! Cool. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's a long row of seeds there. That's what that is. That's the seed train. All right, that's going to look good. Yeah, that's neat. I had not thought of that before, that we actually have such a, a, a ridiculous... Let's try this out here. We'll see if we get anything good coming off of this. This is such a huge, hoable area. That's bizarre. Why didn't I ever think of this before? No idea. I'm assuming there's nothing good that's going to come out of this. We'll try it, though. We'll see. I mean, it's not the mines, so I'm assuming there'll be probably nothing. But, I don't know. I, I don't know... Why is this area all hoable? That's the other thing. I mean, I can't plant crops up here. So, well, I guess it's, maybe it's that I can plant trees up here. Well, I have a whole new respect for this zone. I did not think of this. I didn't take this zone seriously. That's what I get. That's what I get for not taking this zone seriously. Okay, look out, Timothy. I'm going to blast from right past here, bud. Boom. I like it. You're, you're like, you can't hoe me. You can't even come close to me. You think you can hoe me? No, I don't think so. I don't think you can come near me. I'm a horse with a sombrero. No, I guess there isn't anything up here that's uh, no, you know, artifacts or anything interesting. I'm assuming. How about up here? Can we hold up here? We can. Can I? No, I can't hold the railway tracks. <laughs> hold the railway tracks. It's like Minecraft. I can I can hold the railway tracks and... Oh my gosh. We can make a railway through our own farm now. No, nothing so lucky. Weird. How far up can I go? Oh, I can go right up to the top. What? Oh, no, I can't. It just pretends I can. Probably right around there. Yeah. Under the shadow line. Well, that's really cool. Hmm. Now, I could put another row of oak trees down below. I may as well, while we're out here oaking it up. tell which tool I had. Wow, this is, yeah, it's going to be a, a large amount of uh, oak trees out here. Well, this is, yeah, this is, this is all worked out much better than I thought. And we're close to home here. I did not think of this zone whatsoever. So this is perfect. Wow, yeah, we put quite a few out here. I don't even know how many we had. Was it 46 or something to start? And we're down to nine, so we've got about 30 more tappers out here. We could do more, but I think this is very orderly. I, I really like the being the visibility level is really nice. Well, maybe we could put another row in the middle. We'll wait till they grow up and we'll see how that looks. We'll wait till our oak trees grow up. And we've got these ones here as well. 
Uh, I may as well pop, put a tapper on it. There you go. How's it going, tree? Pop. Now those little trees in beside them, I'm assuming these ones are not going to grow. I, I don't... I feel like we the side by side business is not a it's not on it's not working so let's put a uh, put a couple more here okay and I guess that, can we put one more yeah we can of course we can look at that we used up almost all of our our oak seeds, or acorns. Okay, Timothy, let's go check out. Oh, yeah. The dance of the moonlight jellies. Sebastian, you gotta come check this, dude. Jellies, they are a dancing. You don't wanna miss this. Dances with the jellies. Try and sip my lemon tea while whilst driving my horse. It's a precarious balancing act going on. I'm doing neither of them very well. Although I'm not wearing lemon tea. Oh, there we go. Hello all, how are you? That's a heavy load of people for an ancient wooden dock. I'll stay over here near the beach. Okay, Marnie, but you're gonna miss out. I can't believe the summer's over. I feel like it just started. Alex, yeah, I know, dude. Hey, Haley, guess who's behind you? I should have brought my camera. I always forget. Oh, well, the moonlight jellies are meant to be experienced. It's not an Instagram, Instagrammable thing, Haley. You can't, you can't share that. It's, it's a one-time thing. It's just you gotta, you gotta be it. You can't uh, cherish it for later. Cherish for now. Life is so easy for jellyfish. Just letting the waves carry you onward forever. It's kind of like us, Penny. I would say. Moonlight Jealous. Julie's. I wonder how they taste. <laughs> I would never try it, of course. <laughs> I like his disclaimer. Pam, don't tell Gus, but I'm a little disappointed there's no buffet tonight. Yeah, I know, Gus, you really, you phoning it in, buddy. Hey, kid. I want to see the rare green jelly. Oh, Vincent's excited, and that's infectious. Oh, you made it, Sebastian. I thought I saw something moving in there. Something big. Something dark. Just trying to scare you. Okay, thank you. You had me worried. I was like, is this, are we gonna have a shark thing going on? I wonder if they're poisonous. Maybe I shouldn't push Sebastian in the water after all. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I think Sebastian would murder you. He would dox you and destroy your life. Sebastian knows things about the dark web that you and I don't want to know about, and uh, I wouldn't push him. Hey, Abigail, how's it going? Such a rare and exciting thing. It is. It is such a rare and exciting thing. Of course, I had a Carolyn and Pierre down here. They're they're having their own private time. This is a couple's corner. Psst, make sure to swing by the shop tomorrow to get your fall seeds. Thanks for the advertisement. You you walking advertisement. You're a billboard of a human. Carolyn, these candles are romantic, aren't they? Yeah, it's a pity your husband is, and he's trying to sell me seeds right now. We're about to enjoy the moonlight jellies, Carolyn. And he just wants to sell me seeds. Pierre, are you sure you don't want to... Okay, no, you're still about selling seeds. Hey, Evelyn. I remember seeing the jellies once as a little girl. Oh, how I jumped with joy when they arrived. But that was a long ago. I'm a lot less energetic now. Well, we saw them last year, and the year before, and the year before, and the year before, and the year before. So I'm not sure... Uh, maybe you don't... He, she's old. She doesn't remember. George, my friend. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You think I'm too old to enjoy something like this? No, dude. I was going to ask if you needed to push into the water. Just kidding, George. Hey, Harvey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, summer's over. To be honest, I'll be happy to say goodbye to those blast, these blasted mosquitoes. Well, you stay out of the witch's area. That's an issue. Oh, hey. What's up going on up here, Linus? I'll just sneak up when the jellies arrive. I don't want to bother anyone. Just don't sneak up. Nobody likes sneaking up. That's not a thing that any of us want. Oh, hey. I didn't even know. Dude, did I know that you came up here? What? How did you find me back here? I thought I was well hidden. Perhaps you are blessed with the gift of clairvoyance. 
I'm here to observe the Lunaloos, or moonlight jellies as you call them. They possess an unusually potent magical aura for an aquatic life form. Lunaloos. Lunaloos. How's your warp totem here? What? It's Or is that your friend? I don't know. Lunaloos. I like that. That's cool. Anybody down here? Leah, all by herself. Leah, what's up? Hey, I'm paying my respects to any another bygone summer. You do you remember the summer? You, you were hanging out at your house a lot. I didn't even think I saw you all summer, Leah. Just sculpting and drinking. Hey, Demetrius. The moonlight jelly. What a remarkable species. We're very lucky that they stop here on their long journey south. It's unknown why they are attracted to light. Very curious. It is. It is curious. It's a very. It's a magic of science. Oh, it's past my bedtime. Hey, did you see that candle boat? I crafted it myself. I think that's what she said. I'm going to paraphrase. Sorry, I, d I wasn't listening. It's kind of cold, actually. I guess fall is right around the corner. It is, Maru. Also, you're knee-deep in water. So, saying, you, you may want to get out of the knee-deep water because it's cold. Oh, Maru. All right, well, let's go and let's get the things kicked off here in a minute. Hey, Shane. The jellies were here a year ago, and they'll be back again a year from now. Nature is amazing. Yes, it is. I hope there are babies this year. Oh, why, why are kids... Uh, oh, yeah, you and my daughter would get along well, Jazz. Most night fish would be scared of the light. These are strange ones. Yeah, that's why you're not fishing, right? They'd kill you. Hey, Kent. Good evening, James. Hope you can find some time to relax before the harvest season. No, it's all day, dude. My look at my hands. I'm they're bleeding and chapped, right? I've been star star fruit are delicious. We all know this, but do you know how difficult they are to harvest? They are covered in thorns and razors. It's it's a little known thing. People don't realize this. They're actually like razor plants. I'm head to toe. I'm nothing. If if you threw vinegar at me, I would probably die. Jody, there. I just saw something glowing. Oh, it's gone. Emily, look out there at the endless sea. Deep underwater, all kinds of life forms are moving around in the dark. Eerie, isn't it? No, it's exciting. Dude, go say hi to Emily. I wore my special shoes tonight. No one noticed. Well, the moonlight jellies will notice. And I'm glad you shared that with me. I gotta come and crack something over at your shop uh, tomorrow, maybe. But I noticed your shoes, dude. I noticed them. They're beautiful. Emily's right over there. Go get her, man. Go say hi. Just go do it. I'm going to keep kicking your shoes. They're new, but I'm going to kick them anyway. Dude, you want to borrow my sombrero? It's pretty sweet. Like, nobody can say no to a guy in a sombrero. If we keep polluting the oceans, the jellies will surely go extinct. It's already in the process of happening. You and the garbage eddy, man. You guys are you get chilling together. What a shame. We have no respect for nature anymore. It's true. We do not. No, we're trying to save the world, and uh, we're gonna, gonna use technology to do it. I don't buy it. I think we we're right. We're hooped, man. We're hooped. All right, Mayor. I've oh gosh, I'm so depressed now. Your your citizens are the most depressing people on earth, but I love them, and I love the moonlight jellies. Good evening, James. The moonlight jellies are close. I already saw one glowing in the distance. Once we launch the candle boat, they'll come up to the docks and say hello. What do you think? Should I launch the boat now? Heck yeah. That's my option. This is the the chillest, loveliest thing. Look at those sea balls. Sea, sea, seagulls. Seagulls. I was thinking of like balls of... They look like weird... Yeah, I don't even know what I was thinking. Don't ask me. The seagulls. I hope they're not... Uh, I hope they're not making a mess in the water for the moonlight jellies. Oh, preparing for the song. Preparing for the music. Here it is. I hope that one doesn't eat the seagull. It's getting kind of close. But that one could come and eat the mayor. That'd be okay. I hope Sebastian doesn't push. Hey man. Oh, look at the babies. Look at the babies. Jazz must be happy. 
Oh, look at the big mystical one down at the bottom there. Oh, it's coming to get me. I bet they're poisonous. Could it be any better than this? Oh, that, that cool one is dancing right in front of us. The glow of summer has faded now, and the moonlight jellies carry on toward the great unknown. And we're back at home, and now people are trying to murder us. That's how it goes. <laughs> Well, that was the Moonlight Jellies. Oh, I, I always enjoy the Moonlight Jellies. I, I feel like not a lot of games take pause. It's one of those cutscenes that it really, the world stops for a moment and it, ca it just forces you to, to reflect and it forces you to just pause a little bit. It's the most relaxing thing. And it's, it's a wonderful thing to watch through. I, I love it. I think that's so delightfully done, a beautiful touch and a great way to transition between summer and fall. So tomorrow, it's uh, it's all fall all the time, and we're we're getting tired. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do some scything before we go to bed here. Oh, you know what? Everybody's coming to get me. All right. Well, I'm gonna go to. You know, what? oh, this guy might give me something. Well, that was a peaceful evening until I murdered everything. We're going to go to bed now because we don't want to stay out and get in any more trouble. Hey, Haji. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was just coming to say hi. She's like, leave me alone. Stop brandishing your sword. Hey, Penny, what did you think of the Moonlight Jellies tonight? No, dude. Okay. I, I just wanted to say goodnight. We almost made it. All right. Well, we will see you all next time. I hope you enjoyed the Moonlight Jellies as much as I did. Till then, bye-bye.